Before we begin, please click like, subscribe, and notify button to get the most recent updates and information from our YouTube channel. If you prefer written or printed instructions for iSeq removal, we have them available on our website. To read the procedures, follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, if you want to watch a tutorial video, please continue viewing. Generally, iSeq is categorized as a potentially unwanted program, PUP. It is also called a search hijacker for overriding the search engine with findflarex.com and boyu.com.tr. To remove the iSeq search hijacker, follow the procedures outlined in this video or on our website. The first thing we should do is remove any malware from the computer. Otherwise, the issue will keep reappearing and the removal will never be successful. We strongly advise using Combo Cleaner to scan the computer. This is a highly efficient program that can remove malware, viruses, and malicious files. For a link to download Combo Cleaner, go to the description area. After downloading, just install the program in the usual way. Combo Cleaner should run after the installation. If not, double click on the icon. On the dashboard, click the Start Scan button to begin checking the computer. The Combo Cleaner will display all identified issues after finishing the scan. Click on Remove All Threats to clean the computer. A premium version of Combo Cleaner is required. This will not only allow you to remove the threats, but also protect the computer from similar attacks. Aside from Combo Cleaner, you can scan the computer with ADW Cleaner. This scanner is capable of deleting the Google Chrome policy that puts the browser under the Managed by Organization restriction. For the link to start downloading the program, see the description below. After downloading, please run ADW Cleaner. On the dashboard, click Settings in the sidebar. Enable Reset Chrome Policies and also Reset IE Policies. Go back to the dashboard of ADW Cleaner and click on the Scan Now button. After scanning the computer, it will show a message offering a basic repair feature. To reset Winsock and other settings misconfigured by the malware, click Run Basic Repair. After executing Basic Repair, you may now close ADW Cleaner program. At this point, we will uninstall any unwanted programs from Windows that may be causing the search hijacking. Click on the Windows search icon and then type AppWiz CPL in the search field. Click on Open to run the Programs and Features window. We will need to find the most recently installed program. To do this, click on the Installed On area. Now that the programs are listed chronologically, find the program you don't remember installing. Click on the Unwanted application and then click the Uninstall button. In the Confirmation window, click the Yes button to proceed with the removal of the unwanted program. You may now close the Program and Features window. In these succeeding procedures, we will teach you the process of removing the Google Chrome policy, which is related to having your browser managed by an organization. Option 1. Create and run a policy remover file. Click the Windows search icon and look for the program Notepad. Open the Notepad program and we will create a batch file. Copy the code from the description and paste it into Notepad. Click on File, and then Save As.
Give the batch file a memorable name like policy underscore remove dot bat and save it to your preferred location. Please close the notepad program. Go to the location of policy underscore remove dot bat. Right click on it and click on run as administrator. The batch file will execute a Windows command line to delete any policies that are associated with placing managed by your organization on Google Chrome. When you see the message, press any key to continue you may close the Windows command. Option two, delete malicious registry entries and files. Click on the Windows search bar, type regedit in the search box and open the registry editor. The first thing you should do is make a backup copy of the Windows registry. Go to File, Export. Save the registration file at your preferred location. You may import this file to restore your registry in the event that an error occurs while executing this procedure. Go to etch key current user backslash software backslash policies backslash Google. Delete the key named Chrome. Next, please go to etch key local machine backslash software backslash policies backslash Google. Delete the key named Chrome. Also, you may need to delete the update key if it is present. You may now close the Windows registry editor and proceed to the next steps. Open File Explorer and browse to the folder C. Program Files x86. Open the Google folder. Delete the Policies folder. You may now close the File Explorer. In this part, we will remove the iSeek Google Chrome extension. Open the Google Chrome browser. Click the ellipses or three-dot icon on the upper right corner of the browser window. Select Extensions from the list. Click on Manage Extensions. Look for the iSeek extension and then click the Remove button. In the Confirmation window, click the Remove button again. You can now close the Google Chrome browser. We hope that you have successfully removed the malware using this tutorial video. Please click the like, subscribe, and bell icons to be notified of recent threats and their fixes.